is on your side right now. As state lawmakers continue to debate the governor's budget, today some parents say the plan will end their child's chances at a quality education. Our state house reporter Emily Reamer explains. There are 330 charter schools in Ohio with more than 80,000 students. Now, under Governor Strickland's budget plan, funding for these schools will be cut an average of 20 percent, and some parents are worried about what that will mean for their children. I'm seeing some nice work done, that's for sure. Horizon Science Academy opened its new elementary school in September in North Columbus. They've already added 40 students. Mom Catherine Reynolds says the charter school is the right fit for her child. He excelled. He's now an A-plus where he went from a D to an A-plus. Reynolds says the personal classroom attention works well for her son in first grade, and she worries what could happen if its funding is cut. It scares me uh, tremendously. I wonder what will I do. School officials say under the governor's budget plan, the school's funding will be slashed by 30 percent, enough to put them out of business. Well, it's going to have a dramatic impact. Bill Sims is president of the Ohio Alliance of Public Charter Schools. He says as these schools already receive less state money than public schools, and they serve twice as many disadvantaged students. Sim says while the governor does support quality charter schools without funding, that quality will suffer. If he brings them to the brink of, of disaster, where they're operating on such thin margins or no margins at all, there's no way that they can affect quality. Governor Strickland has said he is not surprised there is opposition to his budget and education funding plan because it's about change and what he proposes is significant. But his office says he is open to working with lawmakers. Parents and administrators will get a chance to have their say. A budget hearing is set for tomorrow afternoon and this item is the only thing on the agenda. I'm Emily Reamer, ABC6.